Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited that you're here because in today's video, we're doing a Trader Joe's haul. Now, before we get into this video, I wanna welcome you guys who are new here. My name is Ashley Park. Welcome to Park Avenue. I usually do fashion videos, styling, hauls, unboxings, tons of fashion content. So if that's also something you wanna see, check out some of my playlists and my other videos. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like. And when you do, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any uploads. In today's video, I'm doing a Trader Joe's haul and I think I'm gonna be doing more of these because it seems like you guys really enjoy them and I have a lot of fun doing them as well. And actually, I really would love to know what you guys think about doing more food videos on my channel, like different kind of food videos. Um, also, do you think I should start another channel because like I could do mukbangs, I could do ASMR videos. What do you guys think about food, food ASMR videos and mukbangs? I'm actually really into those videos, so I would enjoy making them, I'm sure. But I wanna know if you guys would wanna see them on this channel or would you like me to start a whole new channel devoted to like just food stuff? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I'm excited to know what you guys think. But enough said, I really want to get into some of these snacks because I've been waiting to record this so I can try everything with you guys. So let's just jump into the first couple things that aren't food, but I really wanted to tell you about them. So the two items that I have that aren't food are body products. Trader Joe's also has body products. They have hair stuff, like shampoos, conditioners. They have a facial spray, they have some other stuff. I've tried the shampoo and conditioner and it's pretty good. Now, I haven't tried any of the other uh, body products, but these are like my holy grails. Like, love, love, love these and you guys have to try them too. If you are OG subscriber, then you've already seen me talk about these on my channel, but so many of you are new to my channel. So I just wanted to share these with you. This body oil, it's 100% pure jojoba oil, and this coconut body butter, these combined are the best moisturizers that I have ever come across. I have to be honest with you guys. Now, I have eczema and I have very dry skin and I have very sensitive skin, so everything bothers me. Everything is just, everything is just too much for me. <laughs> so this has really been one of the only moisturizers that really I feel penetrates my skin. And I get like dry patches on my hands and this really works out for me. I'm always open to try other things just because you never know what else is out there. But so far, this has been something that has been working for me, so I always keep it in my collection. And even if, I do move on to something else. I always have some of this because I just love the way it feels. And they also describe it as a luxurious body butter. And it's true, it really does feel luxurious. So you guys should try this if you're looking for some like new body products. And it smells really good, I love coconut smells. And mixed with the jojoba oil, especially on the heels of my feet or like on my feet in general, I feel like it's just a winning combination, I love that. But I do use this combo all over my body, love it. And then just for my hands, like throughout the day, I'll just, because we're all washing our hands 10 million thousand times a day, I um, use this on my hands. I keep some in my desk, so love this. Now I'm gonna show you some frozen food stuff that I haven't tried yet, but I really want to like show you guys. Actually, the first one I'm gonna show you is one that I did try. This one I forgot actually was in the pile, but it's a peaches and cream tart. This one was really good. I, we, I actually had this with some ice cream and it was delicious, you guys. Every now and again, you have to have like something, a little sweet treat. <laughs> and I told you guys before that I love sweet treats and that's actually part of my problem. Check out, I'll link another video if you guys wanna check out um, and know more about me trying to like get myself on track and stay on track with what I'm eating. But I don't wanna eliminate anything from my diet. I just wanna, you know, do better with my portions and things like that. I'll link that video in the cards if you wanna check it out. But back to this, this was really good. My only, I guess, critique for it is that I love like peach cobbler and like cooked fruit, but I'm not like crazy, you know, over the moon about it. So I just like the flavor of the cooked fruit, but not tons of the actual cooked fruit. So I really basically just like cooked fruit flavored crust. <laughs> So it was really good, and if you're somebody who does look, like cooked fruit, but not too much of it, it wasn't a ton of it, but it was just more than I wanted, so you know, I kind of scraped off the fruit a little bit and was really excited about the crust, because this has a lot of crust on it. But anyway, it's really good. So this is peaches and cream tart, you guys should try it. The next thing that I have that I've never even tried yet is called Chana Masala. It's an authentic Indian recipe. It has chickpeas in it, and I love chickpeas. This is a vegetarian product. I'm excited to try this one. If any of you have tried this, let me know in the comments because I think they've had this one for a while, actually. Then I also have this vegetable biryani. 
<laughs> if you guys know how to say this properly, then let me know, like spell it out how you say it in the comments. Because when I watch like food shows and you know different YouTube videos, it sounds like they're saying biryani, but I'm not sure, so I don't wanna butcher the name. But this one is a vegetable version with vegetable dumplings. Ooh, I'm so excited. It, when I watch videos about this, it always looks so good. The rice, just I see the steam coming out of the rice and it, sometimes I see that they have saffron in it. It just looks so good. So I'm excited to try this one. Mm. And it says authentic Indian recipe on here too. So I hope they're as good as they look in these photos. Now I think this is the last frozen food thing I have. Yeah, this is the last frozen food item I have. This one, you guys, I can't wait to try this one. Make sure you check out my Instagram stories and I also have it in my YouTube stories. I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel about these products. I try to give updates like as I'm eating them to let you guys know. So if you're not following me on Instagram, then you might be missing out on some of the feedback I have on some of these foods. But I am excited to try this Korean style beef short rib. Ooh, it looks so good. And I love short ribs and I love like Asian style short ribs. They're so good. So I hope these are as good as the picture looks too, and as good as I'm imagining them to be in my head. But it has like sesame oil, garlic, lemon juice, black pepper, salt, brown sugar, rice wine. So I'm excited. Ooh, that sounds really, really good. I wouldn't mind. I, I kinda wish I had like some already made to try it right now for you guys. <laughs> but those are the frozen food items that I have. Now, I'm gonna get into the snacks, but I wanna get like the food food out of the way. Ooh, this is really good. This is a hot smoked Scottish salmon. This is really good, you guys. If you like smoked salmon, you'll like this too. I've only ever had it cooked, and it's really, really good. It's really good. But I've never had it straight out of the package, and I love smoked salmon, so maybe I'll try it, we'll see. But it's really good cooked. And while we're talking about smoked salmon, I wanted to tell you guys about some other smoked salmon that I cannot wait to try. Now, in my last Trader Joe's haul, I told you guys about uh, a pastrami smoked salmon that I love, and I, oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys, I, buy, I, we, I think I've eaten already like three or four packages of it. It doesn't come with a lot of salmon in it. So especially if you're like in a home with other people, they're, you know, like my boyfriend, he can basically eat the whole package in one go. And I probably could too, but I like to eat it like with eggs or, you know, just like how you would do like lox on a bagel, cream cheese or whatever. So I eat it with other things, but he can just eat it like straight out of the package, like with nothing else. And so we got this everything but bagel one because we love the everything but bagel seasoning. And Trader Joe's does like everything but bagel nuts. I also had that in my last Trader Joe's haul. They have everything but bagel seasoned uh, mixed nuts. And that's really good too. So I think this one will be really good. I have to tell you, I don't think it's gonna be as good as the pastrami one, but I'm excited to try it and see. And I'll let you guys know which one I like better or if I just like all of them because they probably are just different flavors. I'm sure they're all gonna be good, but they're probably just gonna be all different flavors. The next thing I have here is the smoked sockeye salmon. So this is just another version of the smoked salmon. This one has cracked peppercorns, mustard seed, and lemon. So I feel like, I mean this one is thicker cut and it looks a little bit different. It's not gonna taste like the pastrami one, I don't think, but I feel like it'll be like a, something more along the lines of the pastrami one. And this one says wild, so it's wild cut. I don't know if the other ones say that, I'm not sure, but this one is wild cut. And I'm excited to try it. No artificial colors or flavors, no preservatives. Alaskan salmon. Mm, that's probably good, right? Do you guys like smoked salmon? So the next thing I wanna try are these dark sweet cherries. It says absolutely nothing added, unsweetened. They're really good. They got like a little tartness, so it made like, you know, the back of your, your mouth, it like pinched it, you know what I mean? Anyway, they're really good though. I think they'll probably be really good in salads. If you just like to mix dry fruit with nuts, that'll be really good too. I like these. The next thing I got were these chomps. They're just meat sticks. They're basically like Slim Jims, but better. Like they don't have like all those like crazy ingredients in them. And they're actually more enjoyable. Slim Jims are really salty to me. And I used to eat them a lot when I was a kid, but I would literally chew them up for the flavor and then spit it out, which is kind of gross. But it was because whatever they had on like the coating was so thick and gross that I only wanted to get the flavor out of it, like from the meat, and then I would spit it out. But this is really good. It's mild flavor, it's grass-fed beef, and it tastes really good. And they're nice, handy, like little snacks to have in your bag throughout the day. If you like to hike, or if you're like going somewhere, 
and you need a snack, these are perfect road trips. I love these, I like this. So even when I'm home, working from home, sometimes you just like, just have like a little craving for something, but you don't wanna eat like a full out meal. This is really good. And they also have a jalapeno one that I tried and I wasn't a fan of it. I feel like the jalapeno flavor wasn't that prominent. And I don't know, just the flavor overall tasted funny to me, but I only noticed that they had this one, which says mild. It has like a little bit of peppery, kind of like spicy flavor, but nothing really hot at all about this. It tastes really good though. And then I got this dark chocolate baton in espresso. These I love. If you like dark chocolate, first of all, you'll love these. And if you're someone who likes dark chocolate, covered espresso beans or just chocolate covered espresso beans in general, you're gonna love this too because it has, I think it literally has espresso beans on the inside like broken up because I taste it. Have you ever tried um, Caribou Coffee? They have chocolate covered espresso beans. Actually they only do that it seems like in the airport because when I go to the actual Caribou Coffee house, they never give me any chocolate covered espresso beans on my coffee. They usually put one on the coffee cup but that hasn't happened to me ever when I go to the actual cafe. Only when I'm like passing through and I see one in the airport, they do that, but. Anyway, I really enjoy chocolate covered coffee beans. So if you're into that, you're gonna love these. So try them out. They have some different flavors too. I think they have milk chocolate without like, maybe it's just a plain. I don't think it's espresso. But that probably tastes good as well. But there are a bunch of these like up at the register and you can try like a bunch of different chocolate um, batons. This next snack, you guys, I love, love, love. I've already eaten basically a whole tub of these. <laughs> so this is my second one. This one I haven't even opened yet because I'm like pacing myself with um, treats because I told you guys before I'm trying to do better about my portions. But these are really good. And these have, I guess I kind of got to tell you about these marshmallows first. So pause on that one. These are the Trader Joe's marshmallows. They come every summer. They have the large ones in the summertime. And then in the winter months, they have the really small ones that you can put in hot chocolate. And these are vegan marshmallows, so good. Honestly, the best marsh marshmallows I've ever had. I don't remember if I've mentioned these in my last Trader Joe's video, so that's why I'll mention them now. Because if I haven't told you about them, these are my favorite. I got like six bags because I like the big ones best because I can just like eat them here and there. And I really love s'mores. And they're marshmallows. Don't marshmallows like last forever? <laughs> but I haven't opened um, all the ones I have, actually. Anyway, I like to keep these in the house because I love marshmallows. That's why I like to keep the larger ones for when they don't have them anymore in store. So now that I told you about the marshmallows, now you can know about these smashing s'mores, which have the marshmallows inside. Basically, they just built the s'mores for you, covered it in chocolate, and here you go. Which is nice, you can put these in a microwave for four to six seconds and melt the marshmallow a little bit. These are really good and I'm gonna keep getting these, but I have to tell you guys, if you love s'mores like I love s'mores, then this is not like a s'more replacement. It's just a nice little sweet treat that gives you like a s'more vibe. You know what I mean? It's not a lot of graham cracker in there, so you don't get that strong graham cracker, graham cracker flavor like you would if you made your own s'mores, but it does the job. You know, if you just want something sweet and you are craving a s'more, pop a couple of these bad boys in the microwave for a couple seconds, and you got yourself a nice treat. So it's good that they do this. Now, I don't know if this one is seasonal. I don't know if they're gonna have this through the winter since it is s'mores, but I hope so because obviously in the winter you might not be able to have s'mores. But I mean, s'mores are all year round thing. I just noticed that obviously you make s'mores more in the summertime for whatever reason, even though I kind of feel like in my mind s'mores is more of a winter time thing, but I feel like it's promoted more in the summertime. I guess because people camp more in the summer months and then you make fires and stuff. Ooh, this next treat that I got, I actually have tried this one before. Now this one you guys can eat like pretty much in one sitting, so be careful. When you try this, if you don't wanna eat the whole box, then just try it, put it away. Put it away right away because you could really eat this whole thing without even realizing it because it's not that much in here and they're so lightweight. These are coconut crispy rolls and they're wafer cookies. They're so good. The description on the box says that they are rolled thin coconut wafer cookies from a traditional Thai recipe made with coconut milk. And I really love everything coconut, so these are right up my alley and they're so light and they're wafers, they're crunchy. It really satisfies a lot of the cravings that I have. The only thing missing, honestly, is chocolate. Like if this maybe was chocolate filled, ooh, you know what would probably be good? If they put this espresso, like bits of this espresso baton inside the wafer, I don't know. Like if this and this had a baby, 
it would be good. But this is really good on its own. Don't get me wrong. This really doesn't need anything, but I just really like chocolate. The next thing I have here are these coconut strips and they're lightly sweetened. I really like Trader Joe's coconut chips. If you guys haven't tried those, you should because they're really good. I like them in yogurt. I like them. They're probably good in salads too, honestly, but I haven't tried it. But now that I'm thinking about it, um, I'm gonna try it. But these coconut strips, let's see how they taste. All right, don't get me wrong, these are really good. Something is just a little off, I feel, about the coconut flavor. Maybe like, I thought it was gonna be like, knock me in the face coconut flavor, but it's not. But it's there. But it's, it feels like it's, it tastes like it's been altered a little bit, but the ingredients just say coconut, cane sugar, and sulfur dioxide for freshness. I don't know if the sulfur dioxide did something to the coconut, but I feel like it's like a little bit different than what I thought it was gonna be. But these are just dried coconut pieces, and it tastes good. I, I mean, I'm gonna eat the rest of this bag, you know, over time, and then I'll let you guys know if I if I get it again. I don't know. I just I thought it was gonna be sweeter, or I was gonna enjoy the coconut more. But it is really good. Don't get me wrong. It just wasn't like. Oh my goodness, so amazing. The coconut chips actually have a really, really nice flavor. So I'm gonna do a comparison and see if I like the coconut chips better or these, but they're really for different things because that's dried coconut like chunks. So I like those, but I'm not crazy about them like I thought it was gonna be. The next thing I got were these organic roasted teriyaki seaweed snacks. I like seaweed and I've had seaweed like chips before and they're really good. So I really want to see what this teriyaki version was tasting like. So let me see. And the ones that I picked up came in these individual, like it came all together, but they have like these individual packs in a bigger size, but they don't sell them together. So uh, they have like different variety packs that you can get. Okay, so these are the seaweed chips. If you've ever had seaweed before, then they all pretty much look like this in like a square pack like this. I like this. This is really good. If you've had sushi before, it tastes just like obviously the sushi roll wrapping because it's, it's seaweed. You do get a hint of the teriyaki. It's not strong. It doesn't taste too salty. It tastes lightly salted actually. Mm, I really like this. This is really good and I think it'll be a cool snack like throughout the day. Just to have a chip, you know, make myself feel like I'm doing something but without doing too much. One of these packs is only 30 calories, like if you're just interested in knowing or maybe you're somebody who likes to only buy low calorie snacks. For a snack, you could have some of these and then some of the like dried coconut or like a handful of nuts or something. This is really good, I like this. Let's try these mochi rice nuggets. I saw these when I was at the checkout. They had a bunch of these at the registers and I am not a fan of mochi like ice cream balls. I don't think they really taste that amazing. Like I don't know what the mochi's about. Like I am not into it, so I don't know, but these just looked, first of all, the packaging I thought was pretty cute. These little mochi nuggets, like playing at a concert. <laughs> and then it just says that it was crispy, crunchy mochi rice nuggets. So I don't know, I just wanted to try it because I never had it before. <laughs> Is it good? Excuse me. I like these. Gluten is rice. This is really good, but it tastes like something I've had before. Rice cake? Mm -mm, better. It tastes better than rice cake. It tastes like corn chips. Mmm. I like these. They look like uh, the regular Captain Crunch though, right? It's alright. What are these? Maybe I can eat, um... Salmon, I mean, salmon. Teriyaki seaweed. It tastes good. You got a fan? Yeah, it tastes good. I like this. I gotta open one in my drawer. Yeah, I have one already. Oh, so that's what he's. Yo! What? You got mad at these joints in your drawer. I like them. 
Mmm. These are good. I love them. Though, but they're really good. Snack, so huh? I I didn't think he was gonna like it. What, Put that back in the drawer. Oh. You guys, <laughs> they're stuck in my team. They're super crunchy, so I love the texture. I really like crunchy things. They have a little salt in them. They taste like corn chips. Like they're not. I don't. I don't want to like mislead you and make you think like this is packed full of flavor. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. I like corn chips, and I think they are really delicious. So it just tastes like corn chips to me. If you don't know what um, what mochi is, it says that it's made from the same glutinous rice as the soft and chewy sweet Japanese favorite, mochi. Trader Joe's mochi nuggets hit the other end of the spectrum. These are light, crunchy, crispy, and savory, and make a delicious snack that you might not be able to stop eating. And I think that's really true. Like, honestly, I probably could just like sit here right now and eat this whole bag because I love how crispy and crunchy they are. Mm, these are really good. You guys gotta forgive me now if I got stuff in my teeth because this is so this stuff is good and that was really like crunchy, like really got in my teeth. Ooh. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys, I just wanna mention this now before I move on to the rest of the snacks. These baby beets. Do you guys like beets? Let me know in the comments if you like beets. I feel like people love or hate beets. I actually really like beet juice. It tastes sweet and I like the flavor of it. But I never really ate beets like that. I'm not really even sure why, but my mother started buying beets and she would like put them with salads and everything. And then the other day, I was like, I was really hungry. I just quickly like cut a piece of meatloaf and then I had some beets with it and it was really good. Like just eating it with like the meatloaf like as my side, like I could pretty much eat this whole pack of beets. They don't give you that many in a pack to be honest. It just says eight ounces, but I think it's like six or eight little beets. They're so good. If you like beets, you gotta buy a bunch of these cause now when I go to Trader Joe's, I get like four or five at a time. These are really good. All right, so we're gonna move on to another snack. Let's try these. These are called popcorn and a pickle. <laughs> Boldly flavored popcorn with the bite and tang of dill pickles. I love pickles. Like I really, really like pickles. I like pickles like with garlic flavor. I love spicy pickles. Whenever we get pickles at my house, I put like pepper flakes in them. I really like homemade pickles. I remember there was a place a long time ago I used to um, be able to get like, you could tell like somebody made them. They were homemade pickles. They weren't like mass produced store bought pickles. And it, the flavor was so good because it was like bits of garlic chunks in there. Like it was really good. All right, anyway, that's the story for another day. Let's get into these popcorn pickles. First of all, before you even eat one, the smell of dill like is very strong. I don't know, even though the smell of dill is really strong, I don't really taste it that strong on the popcorn. Oh, I did it, I did it. Mm -hmm. All right, so I guess I don't know what happened on the first few, but the dill flavor is definitely there. Mm-hmm, mm. these are good. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you don't like dill flavor, you're not gonna like these. But if you like dill, you're gonna love these. These are really good. Actually, you know what might be good? Like for a movie night at home or something, you could do like a snack mix. You could do these. Ooh, do you guys like salty mixed with sweet? And I have like, <laughs> I hope I don't gross anybody out, but I have like, I don't mind like combinations of things that don't usually go together. But I feel like salty sweet is, I mean obviously it's not an unusual combination, but I like sweet candies with salty like chips. And I feel like these with M&Ms, like just mixed up, would be really good. I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna get back to you guys. Let me know if you guys are interested in that mukbang channel. Because I could go crazy with the snacks, I love snacks. <laughs> Mm. So those are really good. These I'm excited about as well. Okay, one thing that didn't make it in my Trader Joe's haul this time was another popcorn that they had that was different flavors. And I'm so sad about it. I only ever got to taste it one time 
when I went back, it was already gone and they said it was seasonal. So if you guys see something at Trader Joe's and you're like, oh, maybe I'll try it next time, get it. Don't try it next time, get it right then because it could be gone when you go back. Trader Joe's constantly moves things in and out seasonally and they really work hard to keep things at the prices that they're selling them for. So if a manufacturer raises the prices, they'll drop the product. And I, that, I, I didn't know that until recently and I like that also about Trader Joe's that they won't carry something that they have to like, you know, dramatically raise the, raise the price on. So that's good, you know? But they do bring things back. So like if prices fluctuate or if something stops being produced, they'll drop it. But if it comes back or they can get the price they want to sell it for, then they'll bring it back. So just because something's gone doesn't mean it won't come back. But if you see it, you better get it because it might be gone. So anyway, I wasn't able to get my hands on another bag of that popcorn. <sighs> that was so good. But they came out with a chip. I think it's like a, just a chip version of that same popcorn because this, this bag of chips has different flavors. It says mixed bag of sea salt, vinegar, delicious dill, homestyle ketchup, and smoky sweet barbecue flavored potato chips. And the bag of popcorn was a, like a mixture of different popcorn flavors and it was really good. So let's see how this tastes. Let's see if we can figure out which flavor is which. Okay, this one is really red. So I'm thinking it's the ketchup one and it has like specks of green on it. So I feel like it's the ketchup flavor. Let's see. I wanna say it's the ketchup flavor, but let me see. I gotta taste the barbecue one. It tasted like ketchup. I can't really tell. I think the one I just had was barbecue flavor, so I think the really red one is ketchup, and then the not as red red one is barbecue. Delicious dill. Is this? I think this one might be dill. I don't know. It doesn't look like that one. The other ones look the same. That one I just had was delicious dill, and it was delicious. <laughs> now let's see if I could get a sea salt and vinegar. I think that was just another delicious deal. That one too. I don't know which one is sea salt and vinegar. So I don't know which one is sea salt and vinegar because they're starting to look the same, but they taste really good. No matter which one I get pick up, they've all been really good. So you guys should check this out and see if you can figure out which one is which flavor when you take it out of the bag. Okay, the next thing I have here are these. It's a caramel coated popcorn and peanuts, almonds, cashews, and pecans. It's called Grand Slam and it says it's gluten free. I really like caramel corn. I haven't tried this, but my boyfriend has already eaten one whole bag, so it must be good because he's pretty picky. Mm. It has bits of like whatever. This looks like it might be a peanut. I guess the nuts are like stuck to the popcorn. They're not like in there individually. They're really good. These are really good. You know what? I feel like they're like an adult Cracker Jacks or a gourmet Cracker Jacks because Cracker Jacks are really hard. They are really hard. And these taste like they're soft, but they're caramel coated. It does get in your teeth, but not hard, not like how Cracker Jacks do. These are really good. Oh, okay, so this is what I wanna do. I wanna mix the sweet popcorn with the dill popcorn, and then I could try that salty sweet combo that I was telling you guys about. Let's see. So this is the sweet popcorn. And this is a dill popcorn. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was good. It was really good actually. But the dill popcorn is not salty enough to take on the sweetness of the sweet popcorn. So I'm gonna play around with my combinations. Actually, I'm gonna try one of these flavored chips with one more. Sweet popcorn. I like that combo better. Okay, so now I can't eat any like chips for a while. But now let's move on to the, some of the other stuff that I have here. I have these canned peaches. Well, not canned, they're like in a jar. These dried peaches and they're yellow clean peach halves in white grape juice from Concentrate. I don't like, peaches are not my favorite thing, but these are really good and they're not in that syrup. And I think part of the reason why I don't like jarred or canned peaches is because that syrup is so sweet. It just tastes like, just sickeningly sweet. But these are actually like refreshing. And you could cook these down too and have them with ice cream or you can just eat them straight out of the container. And I actually haven't had this in a long time so I'm gonna try it a little bit now. 
They're really good. Not too sweet, and it tastes real, like real peaches. Okay, the next thing I have, now they make another salsa that I really like. It's a little, like a plain salsa. So I wanted to try this tomatillo and roasted yellow chili salsa. I love chips and salsa. And I actually like to make my own salsa too, like a pico de gallo, just like chopped up tomatoes and onions and stuff. I can tell you about that another time as well. I actually put it in my Instagram story. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw it. But if you don't, you're missing out because I'll be sharing my food. All right. Whew. Okay, I had to loosen it up, you know? Mm. I thought it was just gonna be like a little baby spice, but it has a real good kick to it. I like it. It's not like too crazy spicy. If you're somebody who's like sensitive to spice, this will probably be too spicy for you. But if you like spicy, this is just like a good amount of spice. It's not like crazy spicy, but it's really good. I like this a lot. This is good. Okay, this next thing I have over here is an eggplant garlic spray with sweet red peppers. It actually tastes like something you would put in pasta. Ooh, like an eggplant ravioli or something. This tastes really good. I like this. Hey guys, the camera actually cut off when I was recording this. I thought it was on, but I, it wasn't. But don't worry, because I only have just a few more things to tell you guys about. The lemon curry, first of all, was delicious, and I 100% recommend it. I actually ate it another time with like a piece of apple pie crust or just pie crust in general it was a homemade pie crust and I just took a piece of it and then put a little bit of lemon curd on it and it was so good and you can make lemon squares with it it also tastes really good on um, like biscuits it's really good like that as well and then I tried this barbecue rub it tastes really good um let me not even say it tastes really good it tastes pretty good it wasn't like that exciting or anything. I need to taste it on something, maybe like so, um, a piece of steak or a piece of beef or maybe some vegetables. Like if you like grill vegetables and put a little bit of barbecue rub on it, that might be good too. But it tasted pretty good. It's worth trying out on something. So I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you posted on that one. And these jalapenos, those were really, really good, you guys. I wasn't expecting them to be as high as they are because I had some other jalapenos from Trader Joe's and they were like a sweet, spicy kind of jalapeno and they were more on the sweet side. And they're really, they are really good in some of my favorite um, jalapenos, but these are hot. If you're looking for hot jalapenos, these are really good. And I love hot jalapenos, like in guacamole or in sandwiches. I really love spicy food in general, so these are perfect if you're looking for some hot jalapenos. So that's it for another Trader Joe's haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video because I always have so much fun making these Trader Joe's videos. And let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in mukbangs or ASMR videos. Might start a second channel, I don't know, but I'd love to know what other kind of content you guys wanna see. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any uploads. See you guys in the next video, bye.